So, I hear we're into some of the same stuff. You're about to join John and Eric as we explore said stuff. Really bad movies. Sega Genesis. Sports and girls. The interesting aspects of pop culture. And we'll answer listeners' mail because you have so much to say. You are listening to a sophisticated conversation. Greetings and welcome to episode number 19 of Podcast Podcast Revolution. Woo! Episode 19! And as you noticed, that wasn't Eric, that was Frenchie. It was my best Eric impression, I'm sorry. It was pretty poor. It was it was bad, but I tried. And, uh, yeah, so Frenchie's here filling in for Eric, and, uh, as our guest just as last time is our buddy Davi. Davi, how you doing? I'm here still. He's here still. So, uh, based on what you've seen so far, it, is there a noticeable difference with Eric gone and Frenchie being here? Uh, dude, it's been like 20 seconds. Okay. <laughs> well, so, fair enough. <laughs> is it, is it I noticeable? Say, I would say it's physically different, yes. <laughs> it's physically different. I'll give you that. I look a little different than Eric. A little bit. And uh, you have less sand in your JJ right now. That is correct, because Eric, as you know, is not here yet again. And this time, the reason he's not here... Actually, last time we made up the reasons, he wasn't actually at a Twilight Marathon. He wasn't? Are you sure? I can't verify that, but there he says go. he wasn't. He but, says he wasn't, so... But this time, for a fact, I can say that the reason he didn't come because he wanted to watch Jersey Shore. So, Jersey Jer- Shore. so trashy MTV shows are more important to him than his own podcast. What does that say about about his commitment? It says that he's not very committed, I believe. And um, I think we should uh, promote myself from intern to his job, make him the intern, maybe. I don't know what you actually think about that, but... So you're saying he should be demoted? I'm saying he should be demoted if he puts Jersey Shore before his own podcast. And you're saying you should be promoted? That is correct, sir. No. Wow! <laughs> Do you have done- at least like a hey, five-second thought uh, here? Remember, remember when you screwed up episode like seven or eight? I do remember that. How many times are you not going to let me forget that? That's been twelve episodes ago. It, it was horrible. Yeah, well, I haven't messed up since. Now have I? Uh, and I filled in and saved an episode or two here and there. I don't think so. Nah, I think you're wrong. So, doesn't matter. So, Davi, what have you been up to since our last podcast? Work. Work. That's so, it. So, is that good Good work? Bad work? Uh, sucky work. Sucky work, huh? Wow. that's. And you know how it is. I, I do kind of know how it is since we work together. Yep. And sit in the same cubicle. Yep. A double wide that cubicle, wrong. mind you. <laughs> double wide. The same cubicle, huh? So, Frenchie, <laughs> have, have you ever wanted to work in a cubicle? Uh, no, I, uh... When I used to work part-time with my dad, we used to take cubicles down and move them and set them back up, and it just doesn't look like there's a lot of room in there, so I'm kind of kind of be all set with that. You'd be surprised how much I room there is. I kind of think there's a little too much room. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's a pretty good question. We, we got a question from yeah, Alistair. We'll we, get to that later. We'll get to it later. It right. is hilarious, though. It has some we might have to change. We might have to change the wording a little bit. But no, that's a good one. Uh, okay. So um, we'll get to it later, though. Frenchie, what have you been up to since your last time on the podcast? Well, what was that? Three, four episodes ago? More than that. Oh, even more than that yeah, now. Cages has been on like more episodes between now and then. Well, Cages had to fill in. and He had to prove his worthiness. Uh, no, I've just been working, playing basketball. I know you don't like the sport all too much. Actually, how, how do you feel about the? Uh, email the hate mail that cages got cages got hate mail he did you, i you didn't listen yeah, to the last i podcast did not i did not it? i did not listen to it i fill me in on this exactly what happened all right so we'll uh do a little refresher course for those of you who uh may not have listened tuned in uh cages our, our buddy kevin who sits at home and watches dexter all day and other tv shows it doesn't go out or do anything so he does not he's he's enjoying his uh lifelong unemployment so he graduated college he has not graduated or college. not yet, but when he does. Well, he will. Uh, he's on pace to someday. Anyways, um, he got some hate mail from a fan who said, well, a fan of the show who says he's not a fan of Cage's, and that if Cage's ever needs to check his ego, 
which we all know KJ has a huge ego. Very, very, <laughs> very big. That if uh, KJ needs to check his ego, uh, he should realize that he's made some friends on the show and he's made some enemies as well. Friends and enemies? Like, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't, I'm confused. Who, uh, what are you talking about? Like, I have no idea. What, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, exactly. I don't What understand. are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? We were talking about Cage's hate mail. Yeah, and who, why, how would he make friends and enemies at the same time if somebody needs to check his ego? How, how do you not get that? I'm just getting you confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> D- Davi, you're... I was just messing with you. I understand completely. It's all right. Let's move on. Davi, change the subject. What's on your mind? Actually, let's talk about what Davi's been up to in the very recent uh, past. Davi spent a few hours playing a video game called Portal. Yep. And uh, it's available for the <laughs> Xbox, PlayStation, and the PC. Davi, um, why don't you describe Portal to our listeners after you finish your soda? All right, um, there you go. What kind of soda are you drinking? Pepsi, unfortunately. Pepsi, unfortunately. All right. What's better, Pepsi or Coke? Coke. We discussed okay. this in the last episode, or was it the one before? I don't know. I didn't um, listen to the one right, before. All so. right, so it was the one before. All right, go ahead. Off topic. Uh, Portal. Um, frustrating. That's well, frustrating. Say, well, why don't you yeah. describe to our listeners what Portal is? Uh, basically, you make portals and you transport yourself. What's a portal? I don't know. <laughs> it's a door. <laughs> it, you have a little gun and you shoot a hole in the wall and you walk through one hole and come out another hole somewhere else. It's a doorway to another room. That's exactly what a portal is. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It doesn't the need same. to be a room. Another but... room. It could be the same. Yeah, it could. It could be right next to each other. Transports you from one place to another. Basically, can we agree on that? Sure. I think, right. I think that makes sense. People okay. people should be able to get it. Yeah. So, um, so what was so frustrating about the game? It's a puzzle. Lots of puzzles? You're not a puzzle guy? Nope. What kind of guy are you? Sleep. You're a tired guy? Yep. And you're uh, currently serving our country right now? Yep. You're going to be sleeping on the job a lot? Probably. <laughs> so, are you America's future our our best and brightest i hope not <laughs> fair enough all right <laughs> uh, and speaking of america's best and brightest frenchie what are you what are you up to what am i up to really working like you said working playing basketball we uh starting a new roller hockey season next thursday that's exciting it is exciting uh we're on the same team so uh hopefully things will go well this time maybe i can lead your team to the championship because we know you can't Man, one player, down, one down. player cannot Shh. make a team. One player can't make a team. Nope. Unless if you're a really, really, really good player. Unless your name's Mike Bordelais. I mean, Frenchie. And how, how did your team do? Uh, my yeah, team I, made it to the finals, and I didn't and, play. that. So if I played, we would have won. You think so? I know so. What about when you played for my team in the finals the season before, and we lost? Yeah, well, that was when I was still new to rollerblading. Yeah, okay. Now I got it down. Okay. You're you're an all star now. I I am a complete all star, complete. Dobby, have you ever gone rollerblading? No. Do they play hockey in Brazil? Um, sure. Oh, are there are there a lot of ice rinks in Brazil? No, where I live, no. No, are you in northern Brazil, southern Brazil, mm, middle, northeast, northeast? It's not a lot of hockey there. Too warm. Mm, yeah. How can you live your life? Uh, that's why I moved. Why uh, I you moved here for <laughs> hockey. Uh, no. that's, 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 <laughs> I moved because of the heat. <laughs> hockey is amazing. I would move somewhere to watch hockey more. It is the most amazing sport there is. Besides the UFC, which is coming to the Boston area at the end of the month. So you're saying for those of you is that are, than hockey? For those of you that are excited about it, I know I am, I am which is why I'm talking about it right now. Yeah, wrestling. I no, know, UFC I, is not wrestling. It is ultimate fighting. It's jiu-jitsu, right, well, Muay Thai, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It's all that stuff. A, all any form one. of... Person versus person combat besides hockey fighting is, I don't no, care about. No, it's but not, it's not scripted. It's not like the fake wrestling with the chairs that don't hurt. And well, so, boxing's not scripted either. That's I, That doesn't interest me either. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe you're just not man enough. Ha- <laughs> well, who would want to, like, especially one thing that I can't stand about boxing is that people pay lots of money to watch matches and there's a, a total knockout seven seconds in. How how could you get your money's worth out of that? How that's would you what, not feel cheated? That's what you you pay money to see that happen. If that happens in seven seconds, that's great. 
I mean, what? yeah, you'd, you'd rather see the whole fight, but someone gets knocked out in seven seconds, at least the fight was finished. You just see them walk around the whole match. At least the fight was finished. So if I put down, like, $500 for a ticket, and, I, and it lasted seven seconds, I, I could feel satisfied with that? Maybe you couldn't, but I would. You, wow, your money is worth a lot less to you than it is to me. Well, I uh, went to Bruins playoff games, did you? No, I didn't. Okay. But that lasted not more real, than seven seconds. You're not a real fan. Okay. Well, uh, looks like it's about time for a commercial. So we'll be right back after this. Oh my god, it's my son's birthday, and I didn't get him anything. He hardly even knows it's his birthday, and I'm like hundreds of miles away from him because he's at school. What should I do? What, what can I do to get out of this sticky situation? Well, there is a website called AmericanGreetings.com. What? What? That, sound, that sounds really familiar. Yeah, well, all you have to do is go onto this website, and you can send them, you can send these things called e-cards to anyone. Wow, that, that sounds too easy. All you have to do... Alls? Alls? Alls I have to do? Is... Alls? All you have to do is start a free trial. Alls I have to do? <laughs> Stop. Right, D- did they say alls on the cards? Because that's amazing. My son, my son will learn a lot in college. Well, thank you, Frenchie, so much. Thank you. AmericanGreetings.com. I love you. Back, I wonder if it says that on any cards. <laughs> All right, and we're back. That was a good commercial. Well, that, was, that was an excellent commercial. Your grammar could use a little bit of work. It was in the script. It's okay. It, it's funny. It's, it's funny when... Because so I went to school for English, so things like grammar, even though they're not that big of a deal and they don't affect too much, it, it just bothers me. Like, a lot of times. Yeah, I've noticed. You correct me all the time. Or like this, well, one of my friends who I work with, and when we uh, talk on the office communicator, every time we talk, I have to correct his stuff. And I think Davi knows who I'm talking about. And, I mean, this kid can't even spell awesome right. And he always uses the wrong two and the wrong your and the wrong there and the wrong... He misspells simple words. What? Uh, there was one really simple word that he... Oh, um, no. Davi, which simple word did he misspell? Uh, he always does then and then. No, well, that, yeah, he gets the wrong then. Oh, what, no, there was a, oh, um, supposed, like, supposed to. He spelled it S-A-P-O-S-E. Oh, yeah, I was trying to tell him about that one. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, at least I don't do that. Well, yeah, when you, when you type on the phone, you say, I'm a, and that's, that's. Yeah, like, I'm a B, come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're Black white. IPs. You're white. Yes, I know, I am. And you're not from the ghetto, you're from New Hampshire. New Hampshire's pretty ghetto. You're in the most ghetto part of New Hampshire, probably, but that's still no excuse. Yeah, so? No excuse. Alright, fair enough. Uh, anyways, uh, Dobby, what's, what's something that bothers you that really shouldn't, but it, it just gets on your nerves? I don't know. You're, you're like cages, you're turning into cages. All right, I, gotta, well, I gotta think about you know, it. I right, think you about know what it. really right, bothers right, me? Right, Frenchie, what bothers you? Lady Gaga in the background. Lady Gaga <laughs> in the background. Well, that's what our producer just did. Our producer, who always asked for quiet, now uh, is breaking her own rules. With Lady Gaga. With Lady Gaga. The thing right, I hate but, the most. Well, Frenchie, what, what else bothers you? What's something that little that shouldn't bother you, but actually, but it does? Something that really, truly bothers me? I would have to say our cops. Cops? Yes. Cops. I got pulled over the other day just for trying to duck a cop. Is that is that fair? Just because I took a quick turn trying to get away from him, is that fair that he should follow me around a complete circle and pull me over because he thinks I'm being suspicious? Well, that that is suspicious. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the definition of suspicious. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make it okay. Is what I'm saying. Like if if I mean if you duck like turn a corner real fast, that's not being discreet at all. Well, it if wasn't, just it wasn't fast. It was small. It was it was it was slow. It was slight. Well, not not slight and slow enough for him to. Uh, no, he followed me it. in a complete circle and then threw the blues on. Well, that's also kind of uh, suspicious if you do a complete circle. But um, just as soon as you see the cop. But uh, true story. Oh yeah, yeah. This gets the best part. Okay. <laughs> so uh, anyways, he's it's late at night, so he wanted to search the car or whatever. He asked. I had a shirt above like a basketball in my back seat. So he asked the kid that was sitting in the back to pick the shirt up off the ball so he could see what was underneath it. Well, he just said, lift the shirt. Yeah. Can you lift that shirt is what he said. 
And he started picking up his own shirt and proceeded to show the cop his gut. <laughs> uh, I'm, so, uh, I'm sure he didn't hear the end of that afterwards. No, uh, after it was all said and done, he said, make sure your friend doesn't show any more cops his gut. <laughs> and walked away smiling. <laughs> It, that made I probably the, liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it made the. <laughs> it made the pullover at least eventful for me, and I wasn't too mad about it. Well, that's good. I, wasn't it a, a couple weeks ago where the cop called you the R word? <laughs> yeah, you are. You are correct. And for those of, the, of you that don't know the R word, I'm gonna say it. I'm not calling anybody one. So let's just get Except over that right away. Maybe myself, it. but. The cop did call me a retard. Is that fair, America? I don't think so. And if you could send us emails and tone in on this subject, I would greatly appreciate it. Maybe we can take a stand against the Salem Police Department. Hey, uh, we don't want to. We don't want to make a make the Salem Police Department look bad. They do a good job at calling people retards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he has a personal grudge against them. Well, I'm sure they do a good job uh, when there's actual crimes happening. Yeah, I, I I guess so. So no, we don't we don't want to disparage against the fine organization uh, that the is Salem PD. The Salem PD. All right. Anyways, Davi. So what makes you what makes you tick, Davi? What makes me tick? Uh, I'll Bes- say. <laughs> besides brokers. I was gonna say more like girls with mustache, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why would a girl with a mustache uh, ruin your day so bad? Well, there's, you know, there's Walmart, Walgreens, whatever, gas stations. They all sell to take, you know, clean that up. And uh, it, they don't do it. It bothers me. You know, they could do it. Okay. So uh, why does it bother you so much, though? Because it's just wrong. <laughs> So what, they, they do I, they do sell products to take care of that kind yes, of thing. Products so they, is a much better word. They, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the S word. <laughs> so Davi, if what if your wife had a mustache? What would you do? Uh, either force her to take it out or just give hand her the divorce papers. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she'd be my wife if she had a mustache to begin with. I wonder what a judge would say if if he was wondering like what are the grounds for this divorce and you said she has a mustache. <laughs> she would understand. <laughs> the judge would understand. I feel well, like well, I feel like that's a was, common ground between men. What if it was a female judge? She'll still understand because I'm sure she would do it too. <laughs> but it's just wrong. Okay, it, it is wrong. It I'm needs, not. I'm not debating that. It needs to be taken care of. It is a worldwide problem. Yes, it, I, it's not worldwide. It is worldwide. I don't know a lot, too many women with mustaches. I don't know too many either, but I have Isn't seen. Isn't there like a country out there that the girls' it, armpits are like? Oh, France! Always, but yeah, uh, the, the French. That's pretty nasty too. Oh, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along from that. All right. Uh, All right. So, let's talk about Shaquille O'Neal, guys. For those of you in New England, real quick. All right, really quick, because a lot of people don't like when we talk I know. about sports. But Shaquille O'Neal, he's a little bit beyond it's a, sports. He's a little beyond sports. I mean, he's a great man. We Everybody agrees That's on debatable. Shaquille O'Neal. Well, all right. He it's was the, in Kazam, though. He was in Kazam. He was a rapper. <laughs> how, was, how old was he when he made Kazam? Like 20-something? Uh, Probably low low to mid-20s. I'd have to say 23, 24. Because I was a little kid when that was in theaters. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But anyways, he has w, come w, to Boston. Are you familiar with Kazam? Did that make it to Brazil? Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Kazam was a movie where. Are you familiar with Shaquille O'Neal? A little bit. All right. Well, for those of our fans who don't know, I might give them a ten-second uh, description of real who quick. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal. O'Neal, monster of a man, pretty old though. Signed a two-year deal, helped the Celtics win a championship. Hopefully, a right, basketball player, anyways. Uh, yeah. So, uh, this movie Kazam, he he starred as a. So, like two thousand year old genie who lived inside of a boombox. Okay. So I, I don't know how they had boomboxes two thousand years ago, but that's what he lived inside of. And some kid found him, and he helped the kid get through a troubled life. It's pretty much it, that. Pretty much sums it. It was like the precursor to Eight Mile. Yeah. <laughs> so you mean the movie was boring? I I was twelve, and I didn't think the movie was that great. So if. Or I was younger than twelve, 
Yeah. So if, if you're younger than 12 and you think a movie's pretty bad, chances are it probably is. Even with a sports hero inside it. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was bad. It was not good at all. Okay, so is that the end of our spiel on Shaq? Yeah, that's be. I mean, we don't want to talk about sports too much, but that's about it with Shaq. So, and he is trying to come up with a new nickname. So if you could go to ESPN.com and vote on it, so he can come up with his new nickname, that would be great. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so Davi, and I know Brazil uh, has soccer as their main sport. What other sports are big in Brazil? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I've never been into sports, so I really don't care. Okay, fair enough. Did, were, were, were there boxing matches in the streets? Like in Cuba, as it's portrayed on TV? Like, what do you mean, right on the streets? Like, oh, like, were there, like, matches like that, like, open air, in open air markets where you could watch a match where there's a ring? Not really, no. No. Because they'll just be free, and we're, Brazilian people are smart, and they don't do anything for free, so. Okay. What's something about Brazil that, uh, one aspect of life there, that if you could bring here, you think would make America more enjoyable? Um, people there live their life better, I believe. How so? They enjoy it more. Okay. Even, they, they, they can make the best out of minimum. Okay. So, like, people who live in, like, villages that get flooded every year and you get to go kayaking over their homes, they, they're still happy. Right. Okay. Except for that week that it's flooded. <laughs> that, that makes sense. It, yeah, I mean... Everybody's very happy there. That's basically about it. Is it because they have, uh... They don't work... Do they work 40-hour weeks there? Is it less than that? Uh, more. More? More for less. More for less. But do they have more vacation time? Negative. Negative. So what makes them so happy? Is, uh, is it ignorance is bliss kind of happy? No. It's... You gotta make the best of what you got. The best out of a bad situation. So... You know, and, and everything is about family. Yeah. So if you got your family, you're good. Are there a lot of uh, family connections in terms of mafia down there? Uh, well, not really, except for the Italian side of things. But if you go to, like, the favelas and everything else, it, it's not exactly family, but, yeah, there's a lot of mafia. Are, are there any vampires down there? Uh, I have not encountered any. Good. I'm scared of vampires. I'm, I mean, Eric's probably watching a movie with vampires in it right now. We won't like, say the name of it. No. And but. actually, Davi has seen one of those movies. Or two or maybe all three. I've seen two. You've seen two of them. I missed the first one. Y you seem proud to say that. I am proud. Why? I survived it. <laughs> you did, Hello. You did I'm survive here to tell the story, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right that's I don't, fair enough. Really? Well, no, it's fair that he survived it. He, he didn't no, kill himself no, after. No, not that, but did you at least, did you like the movies, or? No, there's a lot of, like, for example, the second one I watched or whatever, I, I apparently talked out of the movie, and I criticized it out of the movie, but I don't remember that part. Um, what part do you remember? Was, it, remember? was it a good or a bad movie? I remember talking out of the movie, huh? Was it a good movie or a bad movie? It was kind of boring. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can deal with that. Yeah. Like, the storyline is kind of okay. It can be okay. Were there any naked but chicks in pretty, it? No. No. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And then, I, I was told, like, then why bother? The third why movie, bother? there's going to be, like, this huge battle and everything else. So, I'm watching the movie, and she's like, all right, it's coming, it's coming. I'm like, okay. And then the battle is over. She's like, I'm like, okay, but where's the battle? You thought you said it was... Yeah, on TV, they made it. On... everything, like, every, something like that. And she's like... No, 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 the big one is on the fourth one. I'm like, but you said it was on the third one and it was coming up. What do you mean? Where's the battle? So I want to see people die. Was that battle uh, bigger was in scale or smaller in scale than Mario jumping on a Goomba? What? <laughs> <laughs> Goombas. <laughs> All right. Are you familiar with Goombas? I am not. Not the Italian slang. No. <laughs> Just the little mushroom guys that Mario jumps on. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ew. Mario, is it is it like Mario jumping on a Koopa? It's a little turtle guy. Is it is it more more dangerous than that, or is it less? Uh, what do I mean by dangerous? Well, is it is Those it more dangerous? Are dangerous are Hollywood fights. <laughs> is it more dangerous than Frenchie jumping on a Goomba or a Koopa? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Probably not. Actually, there is a funny video. That's a very boring movie. That's there's there's a funny video about. online of uh, Frenchie pretending to be Mario. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, they have a show that to me. I'll, it is I'll show it to you. It's uh, we'll we'll post a link on the Facebook at some point, so people can see Frenchie so in all his glory. Can see it. 
Uh, you wouldn't want to mess with Frenchie in this case. Oh, I see. I can shoot fireballs, that's all I'm going to say. And they make funny noises when they hit turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, so yeah, let's, let's go on a, a, a little ranting session about how much we hate Eric. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> all right, intern, why don't you start us off? Eric Mitchell, you used to be a man. I don't know what happened to you. Missing your own podcast to watch Jersey Shore. It's just pathetic. I, I don't understand it. You say you like hockey. You say you like, I mean, you like basketball, which, yeah, whatever. I mean, I do too, so. But uh, you call yourself a man, and you're at home watching Jersey Shore. Right now, as we're speaking. He's staring at Snooky all night. Staring at Snooky all night, watching him take his steroids and lift his weights. Snooky is the girl. Oh, uh, well, which <laughs> one's the guy that lifts and doesn't do anything but lift in the situation? Arm? Yeah, that is correct. Here's the situation. We were talking about him at work today, because he's in a magazine and he's fat in the stomach but his arms are huge which means so you took the time steroids. to stare at his picture and it pretty much him. it pretty much means steroids is all i'm trying to say okay so uh Dobby, what do you hate about eric i barely know him i don't have anything to hate him i'll just make something up it's entertaining make something up <laughs> uh um um i don't know he watches jersey shore all right, that's good that's enough. That's a good, good All right. reason. And Degrassi. Actually, I, I'm going to make fun of Eric's OCD-ness just because he told me to in his absence. You know, Eric, you are so OCD that you can't sleep if your closet's open. That's true. No, he was that telling is, me. Nope, it is true. He was yeah, telling I me how he, uh, he'll be lying down in his bed and his closet's a slider. See, and if, if there's a crack that's just as long as his thumb, it'll be bothering him. He won't be able to get out of bed. I, I, he won't want to get out of bed because he'll be comfortable, but he'll, he won't be able to sleep until he gets up and closes it. Now, do you remember at work when that one of our co-workers mentioned that she thinks that he might come out of the closet at some point? <laughs> do you think that him having an issue with the closet's door open might have something to do with Only that? Only slightly You're open. You're suggesting That's... that that might be a sign. Or, or something like, the, you know, that the closet... he's afraid that he might, it might slip out with the... You know, having the yeah, if crack. it is open just a little so, bit. So the closet being open a little bit is a symbolism of uh, his closet potentially opening, and he has to keep it closed for now. Is Maybe, that what you're saying? You, know, you never know. I- I'm just saying. He is at home watching Jersey Shore right now. So he wants to be trapped and separated from the other side of the closet. Sure. <laughs> Eric, it's time for you to come clean. And since you're not here, we'll do it for you. Frenchie, have at I have, I have to, I mean, I don't want to say it, but I have to say it. He needs to open that door. <laughs> he's, he's at home watching Jersey Shore. He was looking for Degrassi Street in Canada and was upset when he couldn't find it. <laughs> this is true. This is a true statement. I mean. You fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy watched a Twilight Marathon. He did. What else, what else could we say? Love you to death, kid, but just get out of that closet. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Eric. Poor Eric. Well, that's what he gets for not being here. He should have showed up. <laughs> but, it, you know, he's he's probably pretty worried right now. I mean, imagine if he was over here and his closet door was still open a little bit. <laughs> it would be bothering him the he whole time. He would be sweating. He'd have to drive home. Like, when, when we were in Canada, like, even we were in a hotel where they make beds for you, and he had to make his own bed. Because he said if he left, it would be bothering him all day, not knowing if it was made or not. <laughs> That's uh, so but bad. But how does that affect you? It doesn't. Eric, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> We're going to drive to your house after this and hit you. Because you live right down the road. We do. Well, he does. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, it's looking like it's about time for our second commercial break. So here we go. I think that's fair. All right, for those of you who don't know, Pot Pop Promise is a real company. We're not just making stuff up. It's a real company. So go to potapopromise.com right now so they can watch your dogs for you when you go on vacation. Frenchie, talk for a second. Well, basically... All right, that's more than a second. All right, <laughs> potapopromise.com. They'll watch your dogs, they'll watch your cats, they'll watch your ferret, they'll watch whatever animal you have and whatever you want. If you're in southern New Hampshire, it's a reasonable price. It's actually really cheap compared to other ones. Go online, look at the prices, see it's a lot better. And if uh, something's not working, if you can't get the forms to download, send an email. All right? Call, email, go to Pot Paw Promise. Do Pot-a-paw. it already, come on. Yeah, potapawpromise.com. Thank you, Frenchie. <laughs> you're a very good contributor. 
And alls you know is uh, how to help out. Yeah, except for you can't say alls. Boom. Come on, baby girl, let's ride through this year. All around the world, I'll be blasting this year. I know you like the bands. Come on, bring your friends here. I got a couple of homies who just got here. Uh, yes. I don't really know how to follow that up. So, yeah, there's, um, I don't even think there's anything to say. Um, yeah, pretty much all you can say is that that's just really, really excellent music to get down to. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, what the? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dobby, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh my, this studio just got very awkward. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was scared for a second. Oh my. A anyways, um, so we did get some listener mail. So uh, let let's get to it. Yeah, sure. Right. Our buddy Jeremy says, What's more pathetic? People who play... World of Warcraft all the time, or people who play Call of Duty all the time. So, you, you, I'm gonna, you have a dejected look on your face. Well, I am a avid Call of Duty player. Do you, so, do you feel pathetic because of that? No, I do not. Should I still have a life. I still work my 48 hours without, without question. I go out with my friends. Should we I, ask your girlfriend if it makes you pathetic? If that's what you need to do. Well, how about just a nod? Is it a yes or a no? No, he's not pathetic. No, uh, she's not gonna say it right. why no, why don't we ask if my little brother's pathetic? Yes. My little brother gets mad and like when you used to when you used to throw the controllers at the wall, he punches things and punches himself in the face over and over and over again <laughs> when when something does not go his way. Wow, his uh, face must be pretty beaten up. Uh yeah. That and his hands from punching the desk right next to it, it's bad. And his hands he, for punching his face. Yeah, that too. <laughs> He's he's pretty avid and that does make him pretty pathetic. You wild Italians, but uh, uh well French, French Italians. As the name is Frenchy. That's true. Well, he, your brother's yeah. I Italy. You're Frenchy. Okay, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> but um, what I have to say is, being a World of Warcraft avid is has to be a hundred times worse. A hundred times mean, worse. Yes, because there are things in World of Warcraft that take three, four, five hours. Call of Duty is just one ten minute match and then it's over. The same. 10 minute match over and over and over again and over so I, i'm gonna hold off my judgment until after davi goes davi what do you think is more pathetic um world of warcraft world of warcraft and, and what's why is that it's just boring it never ends that is true well it does never end so it's like life will old life eventually ends it, but it, it does have an end but when one person is right next to it it's like almost at the end they go out and expand the game so you don't get to the end. So, no, there's no end. And people get fake married in World of Warcraft, so um, that's right there. Just Yeah, yeah. people, and they, they meet their significant others through World of Warcraft, and they... It makes it automatically pathetic. And there are stories of people killing their family members because they uh, have, like, uh, kids have killed their parents because their parents didn't let them play World of Warcraft. People have killed themselves because... They or, get their computers taken away. Or people uh, have a fake bride on World of Warcraft and that woman stops talking to them and then they kill themselves. Which, I mean, good riddance, right? <laughs> <laughs> or South Park makes fun of an episode and then people kill themselves then, too, because they realize And the Simpsons truth. made fun of an episode, too. Yeah, so that means right there, it's got to be World of Warcraft, not Call of Duty. Because um, no one's really made fun of Call of Duty yet. I don't know. I think Call of Duty is... Um, I think they both are epidemics in the gaming world, because Call of Call of Duty is making everyone think that it's okay to just keep rehashing the exact same uh, first-person shooter over and over again, and people will play it for hundreds of hours on end, which I, I, they haven't been proven wrong yet. Exactly. So well, I, mean, I think it, it de they're both equally pathetic, depending on the degree to which you play the game. Well, then you could which, say that about a, not to cut you off, but you could say that about a sporting event, a sporting game too, because. They just keep making the same Madden game over and over and over again, or the same NHL game over and over and over again, and people still will buy it and play it among end and just keep going, keep going. This is true. No, any video game, but we're only talking about these two specifically, and my answer will be, even though I said both are the same uh, in terms of the degree to which you play, World of Warcraft has a hell of a lot more players. Like, I think it has a couple million worldwide, or maybe more than that. Um, Call of Duty sold 20 million copies. Okay, so yeah, World of Warcraft has way more than that. Well, uh, it's not even close. It, it bet me right now. 
Just right, Wikipedia not... the goddamn thing. <laughs> no, yeah, I want him to bet me first. <laughs> and, and then, then we'll You're go right, the because the yeah. whole country of China is playing World of Warcraft right now as we speak. Uh, there's a lot of people playing that game. And there's p some people who play that game for like se several days on it. Without end. sleeping. At least people that play Call of Duty go to sleep. And it's it's funny. It's not even like nerds who play Call of Duty. It's and uh, actually, but let me let me get to this first. Uh, a lot a lot of cool people are playing it too. But the the line between a nerd and a jock or whatever is not as divided as it used to be. Now they're pretty pretty blurred, and one could be one one day and the other the next. This is true. You are correct. It it's not as stereotypical as it once was. And b back in the 80s, you wouldn't see, oh, like, a fraternity having a, a bunch of regular Nintendos around. But now, if you if you visit one, they'll, they'll, there's Xboxes and Playstations all over the place there. Computers, yeah, you're right. You name it. And there's people that, are, that will game there. They have parties of people just playing these games. Guitar Hero is one of those games as well, where there will be parties of people just playing the same game over and over and over again. And... Cool people, nerds, you name it. They're all they're all doing it. Davi, what do you think about the about the subject? You guys lost me like half an hour ago. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> but but you're supposed to be the nerd. That you're supposed to be the tech guy. I'm a techie. You're a techie? But but you're not Go into techie. computer games? I'd rather play computer games than um, console games, yes. But, but the trouble with computer I just games. Think that is, yes. You have to keep updating the computer. Well, no, no, not necessarily. I have had the same computer for three years, and I haven't really upgraded it. Uh, have you gotten the newest of... games, though? Yes. Okay. Well, you win. I lose. John lost. Chalk this one up. <laughs> yes. Anyways, Frenchie, what is your favorite video game that's currently uh, popular? Currently popular? Um, right now, I probably yes, have to right say... Yes, right now, currently. Right now, currently. I'd have to probably say UFC 2010. Oh, again with the UFC. I, yeah, I don't know if you knew that about me, but like I'm You like seeing men touch each other and stuff. I'm an avid UFC guy. I love You like seeing sport. guys with their it's shirts a, off. It's and the graphics have gotten incredible. You could see, like, their the nipples sweat. and everything. You see the sweat dripping off their bodies. Is there hair on their nipples? Um, No. No, so it's not that detailed. It's not not yet. Sorry. Not yet. Hopefully soon. But uh, anyways, <laughs> no. I mean, UFC's up and coming sport. It's getting really, really popular. It's already one of the most popular sports there are. It's definitely the most popular fighting sport that there is right now. Oh, so. oh boy. We uh, we've just gotten a live email, a live instant message. So uh, maybe we should get to this. All right, let's All right. do it. It uh, well, let's see. I'm here. Talk for another second. Um, one second just passed, so I really don't know what talk to, to say. Talk slightly longer. Slightly longer. Well, you, last time you said one second, you cut me off right in the middle of it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Dear John and Mike, or Dear John and Frenchie, <laughs> you guys have been so helpful to me in the past. So I've got a new girlfriend, and we've been getting close to, to taking the next step. If you know what I mean, nudge, nudge. <laughs> and I need some advice on how to get her in the right mood. Let me get to the point. How do I get my girlfriend to have a boner? <laughs> I mean, it's super easy for me, but she seems to have a lot of difficulty getting one. I tried flowers, but that doesn't seem to generate any visible boners. Advice. Friend of the show, Ramon. All right, Frenchie. Well, uh, Ramon, we <laughs> Frenchie is is dying. <laughs> He's turned into a monkey. He's laughing like a monkey. Ramon, you have completed his transformation. <laughs> Speaking of transformations, I'm well, trying. I'm trying not to laugh so hard. Oh my just god! Just let it out, Frenchie. <laughs> Oh my! I think we lost him. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Ramon. Oh my god! <laughs> I am in 
tears. <laughs> this is like the time I went to Olive Garden with him. And, I, and he threw his fork because he was laughing so much. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Boner. Boner. All right. <laughs> no, he's not good. All right. First of all. Are you sure you can say boner? Uh, we just did. It said boner in the email. How are girls supposed to get boners? Well, uh, allegedly, um, uh, if I can assume that Ramon's girlfriend may have had some sort of operation. <laughs> and Ramon is clearly into that. <laughs> yeah, he likes the female upper body and the male lower body. I think that's fair to say. But uh, he's not stimulating. So, uh, what, what do you recommend Ramon do to uh, make his girlfriend excited? What can he do? Well... He said what? He said he tried five. What is it? He tried flowers. He? Is that it? That, that, that's apparently all he's done. And he's not very creative. <laughs> no, he's not very creative. Maybe you could try the whole rose petals up the stairs trick or <laughs> like leading to the bedroom. Oh, or... I thought, you, I thought you, that was some kind of sexual euphemism. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> no, I mean legit, like... The candlelit dinner, the rose petals to the to the bed. Well, if, or... if um, his girlfriend is anything like I think <laughs> she is, I, I don't think that would turn her on. I think that would be boring for her. Yeah, apparently. I mean, well, what what are your suggestions? I mean, that's what uh, I. I think Ramon. I mean, you need to get back to what got you too attracted in the first place and just uh, expand on it. So, or or just just take the flowers that you got and just rub them all over yours. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe Tom, that will work. <laughs> Tommy, do you have any ideas? I'm uh, not sure about how I feel in this situation right now. Maybe you get a dog and some peanut butter or something. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a new puppy. Ramon might be able to use it. No, I'm using my puppy. Yeah. <laughs> no one's using your puppy. All right, well, uh, Ramon. Poor puppy uh, out of this. Ho- hopefully, um, these worked, and if they didn't, Maybe you could just play the podcast for her, and hearing Frenchie's laugh might might do it for her. And maybe she'll <laughs> open the, the the runway. All I can say is, have you tried asking? Yeah, straight up asking. Like that actually isn't a bad idea. Where's your boner? <laughs> Where's your boner? Don't ask her where her boner is. So. <laughs> Where's it gonna be? Uh, or no, no, don't answer that not, first, Ramon. Hasn't lately people just watch? That Twilight movie and the girls get their boners. They, they, actually, that's a good strategy. They or, all love or, that Edward or Jacob guy. Or you could just go to um, Chat Roulette, and I'm sure that'll that'll get your motor going. <laughs> so, um, all right, I, I think it's about time for a commercial. All right, we'll be back after this. Probably. This is a Scruff McGruff sound like. For those of you who do drugs, you need to know that I don't want you to do drugs. I want you to give all your drugs to me so I can dispose of them responsibly. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. (laughs) That's right. Don't do drugs. This commercial has been brought to you by people who don't want you to do drugs. So give us your drugs. And we'll take care of it. Drugs are bad. Give them to us. Gruff, McGruff, sound like. Woof, woof. Bow, wow. And bring me to Pie Paw Promise. Com. All right, and we're back. So, uh, looks like it's almost time to wrap up the show. I think this one's been fairly successful. It has been. It has had many climaxes. It's been up and down. Many climaxes. That's... It's been up and down. <laughs> I don't think I'd say it like that. All right, well. Been whatever. Orgasm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> many orgasms in this one show. Wow. Uh, Twice. Almost <laughs> as many as Eric's having with Jersey Shore. Uh, he had way more of that already. <laughs> you know it. All right, a- Eric, we-, we wish you were here tonight, but you're too cool. He's watching the situation. He, he is. And anyways, uh, so like we did a few episodes ago, we did some YouTube recommendations, and we got a few pos- some positive feedback on that. So we're going to do it again. And we-, we have a pretty different crowd this time. So, uh, we're going to get some different styles of recommendations. Davi, you want to start us off? Sure. Um, I'll probably recommend the uh, Laughing Baby, which basically, for you to get to it, just search ha ha ha. And there's a picture of a baby. 
There's a picture of a baby. It's pretty funny. So, Especially well, if you're having a bad day. If you're having a bad day, this kid will cheer you up? Yep. Has, has it worked for you? Yes. <laughs> Does, maybe we should show that to people we work with. You think, maybe. You think it would cheer all of them up? Uh, maybe. Maybe? At least for a couple seconds. A couple seconds? Yeah. Is YouTube blocked at our work? I'm sure it is. Uh, yes, I believe so. But it's not blocked on your phone. Correct. You should you should get that as a ringtone. Uh, I actually did at some point. <laughs> nice. When I had the iPhone, I had that as a ringtone. Well, you could do it again. Uh, maybe. Okay. So, ha ha ha, laughing baby. Correct. All right. Frenchy, what do you got? Well, uh, I'm going old school here. It's been on the internet for a while. But uh, Numa Numa, I have to say, it was one of my favorite videos when YouTube started, really. It's been up since. So, I mean, it's one of my favorites. It makes me laugh every time I see it. It's just an overweight kid throwing his arms up in the air, dancing to the song. So, I say watch that. It will make you laugh. It will cheer you up. Is it almost as good as the Star Wars kid? I would say it's better than Star Wars kid, even though South Park didn't think so. No? Because Star Wars kid did kill Numa Numa guy. So. Really? Yeah, that, that's pretty impressive. But then the in, the dramatic look gopher killed them all. So I don't know. Okay, uh, so Numa Numa, how do you spell that for our listeners? N U M A N U M A. Okay, I, I dig it. All right, so I think I'll recommend uh, a, a pretty funny one. It's a little bit longer than my usual recommendation, but it's Mario Frustration. And for anybody who likes old school Mario, uh, this will th this will make your day. Uh, it's a bit long and a bit on the not work appropriate side, but it's it's quite hilarious. If you have ten minutes of free time, twenty three minutes. Or yeah, if you're watching the whole thing, twenty three minutes. But in ten minutes, you get you get the first the gist level. Of it. You get the first level in ten minutes. So it, it's it's funny. It's uh, you get to see one man not be happy with his life. It's pretty much like Davi at work. All I have to say is good thing is W Blue Sky Lives. That that is very true. So Davi, what are you going to be doing uh, from this point on for the next couple of days? So you have a big trip this week. Uh, not a big trip, but you have a trip this weekend. Um. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? Six Flags. Six Flags. Why did you choose Six Flags? Why not I New Hampshire's own Canopy Lake Park? I didn't choose anything. Who did the choosing? Of course, it was the wife. It was the wife. They always choose things. They always choose things. You want to elaborate on that? Not really, no. Not really. All right, well, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> you know, well, is it a good choice? I don't know. I know I've been there. But you it, you think it'll be a good choice. Are you worried? Yeah. Is there any trepidation? No, not really. Okay. All right. You're turning into you're turning into cages. I, I, I don't know uh, how I feel about no, I'm that. I'm not liking it. Uh, I might have been a little stressed out from Portal. That's all. From Portal? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll do that to a man. Well, Portal's over now. It's you over. You can relax. I am relaxed. Getting there. You're getting there. Just need a few beers. You need a few beers. Oh, yeah, we didn't have any today. Yeah. Nope. All right, next time. Next time. And, oh, oh. Make sure I'll get to my announcement at the end. Frenchie, what are you going to be doing over the next several days? Uh, well, I have to work 10 to 10 tomorrow, which pretty much limits my options of doing anything, really. And, uh, Saturday, probably using my day off to help my dad pick up some, uh, tools to, and product to rebuild the roof that we're doing next week. Okay. And on Saturday evening, I know that you'd better be, um, uh, at the dance-off so you can face off against KGS, like you said, which is going to be at Eric's Beach. So uh, the the big dance off is finally happening. The big dance off the is Saturday. Off. It's Saturday night, huh? Barbecue at Eric's place. Good thing you gave me two days of two days so, to prepare. So you gotta you gotta get. How, how are you gonna attack cages? I'm gonna go right for the throat, right uh, for the I'm, jugular. Well, I'm talking dance wise. Nope, that I my dance moves will it will knock him out. So what, how do you think your your thing with cages should go? Should you both be dancing at the same time, or should it be? One first and then the other. Yeah, didn't you ever see that South Park? Where uh No, I don't watch South Park. Well obviously South Park I do. It. Well it's like it's like a comp like oh, you get you get served, if you will. Someone goes and the other person goes, they try to top it, and if the other person can't top it, you say you got served and that's the end of it. Well who's gonna get served? Kevin 
Mr. Cages will be served. So Cages is going to be uh, splattered on the street. Oh, he's going to be smushed. <laughs> All right. And then we have the big one with uh, Patrick versus Eric. And uh, I got my money on Pat. Um, if Eric's watching Jersey Shore right now, I don't know, he might pick up a dance move or two. So he could pull something out of the air. We'll see. He's definitely learning how to how to fight. Like a, like a Jersey guy. Yeah. I am from Jersey. I think I'm tough because I'm from Jersey. Davi. Yes. Are you tougher than people from Jersey? I don't know. Not from Jersey Shore. <laughs> Jersey <laughs> Shore. Because you I, don't I, do steroids? No, I don't do steroids. <laughs> no uh, supplements of any no, kind? No. Yeah. My only supplement is a bullet and a gun. Well, that that would probably help you defeat many people. <laughs> Especially people from Jersey Shore because they can't afford guns. Uh, I'm sure they can afford plenty of guns now. No, not true. No? No. Nope. MTV doesn't pay them enough to, no, to it's buy a fake, gun? It's fake money. It's fake money? It's, yep. They give them Monopoly money? Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> it is colored Monopoly money. They just don't know the difference because they're too silly. They're too silly. Yeah. That, that's a great you word. You seem like you know a lot about this show. <laughs> Is there I know I know a little bit, okay? I do know a little bit, just because it gets talked about at work all the time. Except you thought Snooki was a guy. I've only seen five minutes of one show, and I know Snooki's... Okay, well, girl. I knew Situation was a guy, so... So you're 50-50. Yeah, exactly. It was one for two. That's a good average if you play baseball. So you pretty much like to think that people are guys, kind of like I our buddy pretty Ramon. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk about Ramon right Ramon now. Ramon and his boner problem. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> Poor Frenchie. It, 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 it's kind of sad when just the word boner sets you off. <laughs> uh, that's uh, disturbing. Yeah, it's bad. Anyways, and it's, it's also sad that Boner from Growing Pains killed himself. That's that's a pretty rigor mortis boner right there. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> All Shouldn't right. be laughing at someone's misfortune. He it's killed himself. Nice. I know, it's yeah, not nice. That is sad, though. Did it last more than four hours? His fame. His fa <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to last forever. Did he have to go to the emergency room? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that's a good note to end it on, as any. Um, I, uh, so I'd like to thank our fans for listening. I'd like to thank Davi for uh, coming back to the studio, helping out. Yeah, thanks, Davi! Woo! Brazil! <laughs> Alright, and I'd like to thank Frenchie for filling in for Eric again and do, doing a damn good job. Yeah, I try. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, that's all you have to say. But and I, and before you finish, I want to thank you for being here every single day in all 19 episodes now. Let's, oh. let's thank John, everybody. Come on. 19 episodes plus the two Canada specials. Yeah, so that's technically 21. Yes. And pretty soon we should get Bacteria Mike back to the studio. I think Bacteria Mike needs to come back. I want to hear the lovely world of Bacterium and what advances it has had. Since. Even though he works more with viruses, but that's well, okay. That's, whatever. That's, besides, that's the point. besides the point. I don't know anything about it. That's Call why we got to talk to yeah, him. Bacteria that's why Mike. we got to talk to him. All right, and I'd like to thank myself because without me, the show couldn't happen. I just thanked you, though. There was oh. no reason for you to thank yourself when I just did it for you. Well, I did a better job thanking myself. Oh my it, fe okay. it, felt, it felt heartfelt because I knew it was real. Oh, because I did it and it was fake. Okay. I see how it is. You're a faker. Yep. <laughs> yes. Use your imagination. Anyways, um, right. so, Davi, any closing words? Peace out. Au revoir. Das wie dann, ja? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 pants down. <laughs>